So you guys are getting hit with a two for one in this video. We are loading it up, boys. This is going to be a behemoth of a video. I'm dropping the bombs in this one. I just want to warn you guys, it's not like many of my rants in which I target the quality of their content and their content in general. This time, I'm targeting these two as people first, their content second, but oh, of course, I'm going for both. I'm tired of these two nitwits ruining everything for everyone else and making a laughing stock of the YouTube community. This was originally two video scripts meant for two separate days, but I've decided to combine them into one video. As always, if you did enjoy, drop a like, share, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, tell me what you think below, consider supporting me on Patreon, and this is the first time I've ever said this, but this is Optimus signing on. Jake and Logan Paul, I've tried my very, very best to keep away from these two buffoons of the internet, but like an awful case of herpes, they keep coming back full circle and worse each time. Both Logan and Jake have been known to do some really, 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 really awful things in order to manipulate their fans, get views on their channels, shift blame onto the others, set awful precedents for the prepubescent fans, and in general, just show how greedy, evil, and disgusting they both truly are. Do you think I want to make videos like this? You think that I like Jake Paul videos and Logan Paul videos, well, besides the obvious views and ad revenue, do you think I like having to see the crap that they do and it be so bad that I make a video on them? Well, you're right. I love watching these two buffoons make asses from themselves because each time they do it, the internet begins to hate them more and more, and eventually, it'll all boil into something where people finally decide to stop giving them relevance or not, because children do not care whatsoever about what they watch online. So you're already asking yourself, Optimus, like, what did they do so awfully wrong and stupid and evil that you felt it necessary to crush two birds with one stone? Well, let's go ahead and break it down real nice for you, and let's start with Jake. And let's be fair to Mr. Everyday Bro, what he did isn't really as bad as what Logan did, trust me, we will get into that, but it's still pretty damn bad, hypocritical, and it's just overall shameful. So Jake Paul, who who attempted to embroil face banks into cheating scandals in the past just got caught cheating at a club when he attended a Cardi B concert. He was wearing a jean jacket, it was proven on Snapchat, and then in a video, he was caught sucking face with some chick, and his girl, Erica Costell, was way out in Los Angeles while this concert was in Texas. So it was not her. Yeah, that's right, the same numbskull who tried to oust banks for cheating just got caught cheating. And this isn't some little rumor, this is footage, okay? This is video of him doing it. Good guy Jake Paul here has been caught red-handed. This is one of the worst things out of the many, many awful things that Jake has done over the last year. You know, the mistreatment of the Martinez twins, the douchebaggery at VidCon, the fires in his LA backyard that nearly burned down a neighborhood, the disrespect of the newscast and his neighbors, it's every day bro, his awful song with Gucci Mane, his obnoxious behavior, all of it, right? It's right up there with the worst of them. I know that way back in like June or July, I said he's prone to making mistakes because he's still young, but at this point, it's no longer just mistakes. The dude is a straight up asshole who only thinks of himself and how he can better his views and how he can throw others under the bus. He's just hypocritical and obnoxious, he can't stop himself for anything, he never faces consequences because YouTube constantly promotes him and his stupid behavior, his sponsors except for Disney never pull his deals or even threaten to do so, his fans are little kids so they never hold him accountable because they don't understand that what he does is wrong and in general he just keeps on acting like a goddamn idiot all of the time. But never think I'll forget about Logan Paul, okay? The colorblind, somewhat more intelligent of the two, okay? See, when this Mong does something immoral, he generally doesn't have issues with trying to hide it, unlike his brother, who will make out and cheat in clubs, go on the news and act ignorant, and make clear evidence of his wrongdoings. Logan tries to sweep all that under the rug, you know? He's, he, he tries to hide the fact that he's not colorblind so he can make a video for sympathy when he fake cries over supposedly seeing colors for the first time. He doesn't know, he doesn't let you know that he blatantly ripped off of one of the greatest songs of all time and turned it into literal garbage and got dissed back by Flowbots for being a scumbag. He doesn't let you know that he went to a suicide forest in Japan with a camera and an entourage of people to perhaps record a dead body so they could turn it into video views on their YouTube channel. He usually will cover up the truth behind his lies and while he gets caught most of the time, he makes a conscious decision to try to keep it out of sight, out of mind. He did not do that very well yesterday when he decided that he would go 
into the middle of a widely recognized suicide forest in Japan, where hundreds, if not thousands of people per year, go to end their struggles by committing suicide, film an entire vlog, find a dead man in the woods hanging from a tree, film him, laugh about it, and basically decided to use his death to gain more views. The smug, cheeky little prick even used the body in the thumbnail and in the title, right? Now, as of the making of this video, not only is Logan losing subscribers, but he was also quick to delete the video once the news broke and he basically got a stampede of well-deserved hate. The video literally is Logan and his entourage going into these woods where people are known to commit suicide. They found a dead body. They acted all shocked, like they didn't go into a forest where droves of people kill themselves per year. They basically start laughing about it and treating it as a joke. They walk up to him and record him, blur nothing but the face. You can see his hands have turned purple from the blood in his body. There's obvious signs of death. This man's been hanging there for hours, clearly. But it didn't stop there, right? Logan decided that the video was okay and that he should upload him disrespecting a dead man, only blurring the face out and using it to clickbait his viewers into watching. Yeah, a man whose entire fan base revolves around children decided that this was an okay video to make. It was good, you know, it was good vlog material to include the hanging dead man in the forest and you know, not just turn off the camera, seek someone like the police to come and identify the man and remove him from the forest. They were maybe a hundred yards or so from a parking lot, which they openly admitted in the video, yet they decided that it was cool to keep hanging around this body and, you know, not go get anybody to help. They did eventually get one person to come and, you know, didn't really do much, right? Because it wasn't a cop. They didn't call the authorities. They didn't do any of that. It just goes to show you how great Logan is as a person. Dead body equals views for him, right? Funny enough, YouTube handpicked that video to make trending before it was deleted, so... Think about that. Minor offenses like swearing in your videos will literally disqualify you from making trending in the future, except for some rare circumstances. Yet exploiting a dead suicide victim for views and putting it in the title and thumbnail will have you handpicked by YouTube to make trending, but only if you're a Paul brother or part of their clique, right? Then you have his absolutely garbage apologies to the entire thing, the first one being him typing an entirely horrible response to the situation in which he believes that using the words peace and then the peace sign emoji is the proper way to address the ending of the apology. He's a f***ing idiot, I'm sorry. I, I've tried to stay at least a little bit off of them, but I can't anymore. Why do these two have careers? Why do they get everything handed to them on a silver platter by YouTube? Enough for them to promote this video. I don't want to see YouTube start another adpocalypse over this and try and act like it's all bad now because you assholes promoted the video and put it on trending. He says he wasn't doing it for views, but he uploaded a video about a suicide in a Japanese forest, joked about it, put the blurred out dead man in the thumbnail, and put it all up in the title. No, he didn't do it for views, guys. Ironically, this video had double the views of any of his other content. He said he did it to cause a positive ripple in the community, and boy did he, because now the entire community has finally turned against him and are now leading a crusade to finally run him out. How can you say it was for a positive ripple in the community when you neglected the respect of a dead man to record him and make content off of his tragic death? This is just a big bullshit apology in which he's lying about the whole thing, you know? Then of course, it's a Paul brother, and where are they without reminding everyone that they've been vlogging for over a year now making a quote-unquote TV show? Your vlogs would not lick the boots of the production value, quality, stories, and overall value of TV shows on today. Don't ever compare your content to a TV show. You want content that can make it on TV? Vlogs are not going to cut it. You might make the Disney Channel in place fourth in a show popularity for two years on there, but the Paul brothers don't have a good track list with Disney. He said that this is the first time that his reach reminded him of what power he had, and this was the first time he regretted how he used that power. So this is it. This is finally the first time. Not when you lied about being colorblind for views, basically making a mockery out of a real disorder that affects millions of people. It wasn't when you ripped off handlebars by Flowbots and turned it into literal garbage. This is finally your wake-up call. Sad that nobody believes you because you lie about everything else. You may just be the most inhumane, uncaring, greedy asshole on the entire platform, with your brother right at your side. So that No Handlebar song, of course, is literal trash. It contends his brother's music for worst music on YouTube easily, as neither of them have a lick of musical talent whatsoever. It's, it's a song about, you guessed it, riding your girl with no handlebars. Ironically, the chorus, the flow, the beat, literally everything about the song except for its stupid, vapid meaning 
is the exact same as Handlebars by Flowbots. Now here's something to consider. Flowbots actually dissed Logan Paul. They made a diss song in response to his theft. Thankfully, when making this video, the original good song by Flowbots has more views, but when five-year-olds have control, unfortunately, that's bound to change. Can we please not allow that, by the way? But you know it'd be hilarious? Class action. $10 million lawsuit from Flowbots and their record label for copyright infringement drain this fool's bank account, and send him on his way with a boot of justice up his ass. How scummy can you really be? I mean, it's evident that he wasn't parroting the song, he wasn't remixing it, he wasn't paying homage, he was literally ripping it off and using the song to piggyback off of. It's, it's just shameful. I mean, I'd say he should be ashamed of himself, but that'd be like telling a dog to stop chewing on bones. That's the thing that's most despicable about the two of these Paul brothers, because they have a zero shame or guilt for anything that they do. They constantly mess things up. They constantly ruin other people's lives. They constantly mislead their children fans for money and nobody gives them any consequence. There isn't a single other example of a celebrity who could embroil himself in a cheating scandal, act the way Jake Paul does, nearly burn down neighborhoods and mock critics of him while he does it, take advantage of the Martinez twins the way that he did, and overall just act like a jackass like Jake Paul does and have no brands pull away, have YouTube quit promoting them, have views decline other than Logan Paul. It's just a crazy coincidence that they're related, I'm assuming. I mean, they both act like mongs, get away with it, and reap the benefits. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm tired of these two. Honestly, I did not want to make a video on this, but of course, dude, they've just, they've just done it. You know what I'm saying? This is worse than, you know, this is worse than what they've been doing. So it was a little bit necessary. Anyways, um, like I said, I wanted to avoid speaking on them because it's so overdone, but at that point, the options now off the table for me when it comes down to stuff like this but uh make sure that if you did enjoy to drop a like subscribe if you're new tell me what you think follow me on twitter and twitch consider donating on patreon to support me and have a good day until my next video this is optimus signing out